This old bone is gonna eventually pop off. The tortoise is healed from the inside out. Huh? Pretty cool. I love it. Hopefully there are seven males. Here we go. One, two, three. Seven. We did it. Redfoots are just a fantastic species. So now I know exactly what my ratios are. Oh, hey, you know what, guys? This is Slinky. Slinky wearing my hat. Members only Camp Cannon shirt. Oh yeah, walk it out on the catwalk. Hey, what's going on, everyone? We got a lot of work to do today, and we're gonna dive right into it. I've been trimming weeds and stuff, and as you can see, all the redwood tortoises are pretty excited about that. But I need to do an inventory of the redfoot tortoises. We need to find out just how many males and females I have. Now, I'm pretty sure there are 30 tortoises in here, and that's what we're gonna find out today. Maybe one might have kind of gone on a walkabout. So I've enlisted my helpers. And today we're gonna learn how to tell the difference between a male and a female redfoot tortoise. Check it out, guys. Come on down. Let's see if you guys have been paying attention lately. If, can you tell me if this is a boy or a girl? What do you boy. think? It's a boy, huh? Why? Because the, how the shells goes under here. Like Very good. Yeah, that's called, it's concave. It's got a concave shell and a longer tail. And the other fun thing about these tortoises are the fact that the males of the redfoots get what's called wasping they get a narrow waist, whereas the females don't really get that. And let's see, here's, here's a gal right here. She's got a cute little opening for her little tail so she can deposit eggs. Um, but what we gotta do is we gotta get these guys all set up. So it's gonna be a lot of work here because we're gonna separate them by male and female so we can find out the ratio, the sex ratio. What do you think, you up for it? Yeah. You think you can lift these tortoises up? Yeah. All right, okay, so it looks like the girls are gonna go in those two bins right there and they're gonna be overloaded. It's gonna get cramped pretty quick. But let's start doing it. Let's grab some girls. Ah, this way we can find out. I got two. You got Lego. All right, Lego looks like a girl. Yep, here's another female. Let's see the bottom. There it is, you can tell. Uh, that's a girl, good girl. Two hands, nice and slow. Is that a boy or a girl, Leo? Oh, that's, that's a, a boy, boy, good boy. Show. Nice. So these guys are gonna be a little bit packed in because of uh, my lack of tubs at the moment. That's a girl, good boy. Then hold on tight. Yep, nice and easy, two hands. Oh, check this one out, girl. guys. Wow. This is probably my largest male redfoot and my largest redfoot, to be honest. Really, really cool tortoise. Look at how just pronounced that is, huh? It's just incredible how concave that plastron is. And obviously, that's so that he can fit perfectly on top of the female. But I like to do this um, probably once a year just to get a good, get hands on most of the tortoises, give them a good inspection, make sure they're doing okay. That's a girl, good boy. I love how involved the kids get. Very important. Girl. Oh, that one looks like a boy right at your feet, right oh, yeah, there. That's a boy, mom. Mom's I could tell, good. I could just tell now you taught me about that skinny waist. That, there you go. You know, the ladies normally want the nice thin waist, but of course the boy is the gonna boy get is it. The boy is gonna have it. Classic, classic evolution. That one's a boy. a boy. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a big oh, boy. Careful, girl. careful. Oh my gosh. Mm, lots of girlies. Get them, buddy. Oh, I always thought Lego was a boy. And now we know. Let me see. Girl. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. What's this one for? These are a, a girl overflow. Yeah, that looks like a girl. Oh, but this one in here. Just ask me. I'm the expert. I'm the I'm the turtle sexing expert. Hey, I wanted to show you guys and give you an update on this tortoise. This was one that we saved from Bush Wildlife, or actually Bush Wildlife rescued it. It was hit by a lawnmower. Okay, you could see it had some pretty serious shell damage on this animal. But here at the camp, after she was nursed back to health by the friends at Bush Wildlife. No issues. Turtles and tortoises are pretty tough animals if they are taken care of. And you can see this old bone is going to eventually pop off and underneath there'll be a new keratin layer and you'll see it's going to be pretty interesting, man. So tortoises heal from the inside out. That's a good job, Leo. 
Mm -hmm. Whoa, that one's got that nibbling. One. He's, that br one. he's bringing food on the Jeez. go. Good deal. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. She's doing good. She was eating a little bit. Um, I got to tell you, really love the red foot tortoises. Um, they're fantastic. They're easy to care for here in Florida. And if you guys are looking, we're going to go. I saw one hiding over here. Follow me. Um, if you're going to get a species of tortoise that doesn't get too large and is easy to care for, I would recommend the red foot. There's one. How cool are these little nooks and crannies on huh, this aquascape ecosystem? Really cool. This is what it was designed for, that these animals would be able to drink from this water. Huh? Pretty cool. I love it. Let's keep going. Oh, here's another one, Mom. Oh. They do have good hiding spots. They do. They like love them. to hide. Any in there? Nope. Nobody's in there? Oh gosh, there's always one more tortoise. Do you guys think you got every single tortoise? No. I don't know, you may have. Holy smokes. I mean, there were a lot of hands picking up tortoises, wow. so that may be All it. Right, let's go count them, guys. Let's All go right. see what the deal is. This way we can get them back into their enclosure and then you get right back to mowing things down. Okay. So I, we're going to count to ourselves. I'm going to count out loud. Do you guys want to help count out loud? Sure. All right, here we go. So we're going to count the females first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, I know. So right now there. listen. There's another one. That's 23. I counted it. I There's 23 now. Hopefully there are seven males How in about this. Hun, that was good quick math. I know. That's pretty good. I'm Thanks. so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm horrible at math, but I was able to so do that. Bad. So hopefully so we're going to get seven males. Count them out for me. I, see, one, I only two, see six. Three, three four, four, five, six. And this guy under yeah. here. Seven. Seven. So we did it. Yay. So that means that in our group of redfoot tortoises, we have a sex ratio of seven males to 23 females. Wow. That's a lot. But the cool thing Lucky. about this group and Lucky the space boys. that these animals have is that there's not a lot of um, fighting or combat between the males. Another reason I really like this species, you can keep them in a group situation and don't have to worry so much about that. What do you say we start letting them out? Yeah! Let's get these guys back out. All right, look at these males. So you guys can get to meet the different boys that I have here since there are seven of them. Uh, this guy always climbs over the... Um, yes. He's right, he always climbs over the wall, but we fixed it. He hasn't been over the... He hasn't gone over the wall and on the lamb in the last two weeks, so I'm happy about that. So that's him. All right. Oh, then we have the next guy. Real beautiful tortoise. That is. Are we gonna name these people? Or I we'll don't know. I think that's names. up for everyone else to do. There's yeah. so many tortoises. There's to so name. many tortoises. So I there's am so just many not, names. We need we need, uh, we need better help. names. This guy came to me from someone down in Miami. A little bit pyramided, but still a happy, healthy tortoise. I don't mind keeping them. Like I said, redfoots are just a fantastic species. Very personable. Oh, uh, you can you can lift that guy? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Yeah. No, okay. No. This Good. is the biggest Good. one I showed I you a little while ago. Dude. Oh, she's got that one. She was born for this, she says. This one's a little bit shy. But you know, the other thing that I'm doing, guys, when I'm picking these animals up, I'm feeling their weight, and they feel real heavy. A tortoise should feel heavier than they look. And uh, as you can see, every tortoise we've pulled out is healthy, it's moving around. Um, I have to tell you, knock on wood, these redfoot tortoises are just a dream for me to be able to work with because they're so easy. There's no, there's really little to no drama. Um, I luckily, I know this one's moving the wheelbarrow. He's pushing the wheelbarrow. He's pushing the wheelbarrow. Um, I just think they're awesome. But again, guys, getting hands on these animals is paramount. It's so important so that we know okay? how healthy they're doing. Let's go get some of these gals out. Oh my God, it's pooping everywhere. Look at this. She's got yeah, some yeah. interesting scoots. All right, she's got what's called a regular scoots. So That's there are some good. people that wouldn't That's want this tortoise because it's not, quote, perfect. But for me, I don't care. It's a happy animal. How it lives does that outside. happen? Just for a birth? 
yeah, situation? Yeah, some people think, uh, some scientists believe it could be incubation temperature in, in the incubator. Uh, uneven incubation, it could go maybe too much fluctuation in the incubation. Um, whatever it is, all it is is cosmetic. It has nothing to do with the health of the animal. Uh, it's just what we call a regular scoot. It doesn't bother me because for me, I'm keeping these animals in large outdoor enclosures. It's more about giving them this really cool quality of life. You know? is kind of fun. I like that irregular scoop. Yeah, some people love it. Some people are, are like, you know, very feng shui. I know a lot of Asian countries, um, they want their tortoises to look perfect. Here's an example of a really beautiful shell, older animal. You can see the little scratches. You know, their shell, it really takes care of the tortoise inside, you know. Uh, it does get banged up. Um, it also gets eroded uh, through the elements. So you'll see the older tortoises are gonna be a lot more smooth. But um, again, here's her vertebral scroot. scoots are perfect. So she's got five vertebral scoot scoots. I'm almost saying scoots or scroots. 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 Yeah. Yeah, what was that? How was Groot, the up? I think you're trying to say. Um, what? Now I know, you know how people say that the spots on the ladybug mean how old they are, which is uh -huh. not true. That is a myth. That's right, it is a but myth. But these have nothing to do Same with thing. Um, it's, it, their it's age, a, right? It's a myth, correct, yeah. Uh, you're, you're remarking like the rings here, these are growth rings. Okay. And um, you know, some people think it's similar to a tree. Oh, you can count the rings of a tree and see how old it is, but that's not true of tortoises because certain years they'll have more food and more nutrition and they'll throw off more growth. So they'll have more rings per year. It really just, you know, it's not an accurate way to fully understand, but I'd say a tortoise of this size, this smoothness, and the fact that I know these animals, uh, this animal here is somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 years old, my best guess. So um, it's just Let's really cool. Count, count those, see oh, how many. Well, it would be, hun, I can't even. Oh, you can't, you one, can't One, two, say. three, I mean, there's like, Probably way too many there's too many she'd be like 50 years old and that's just not the case i know that right but um really cool so Beautiful. there's no way obviously. there is no it's way like any other animal you can't really tell how old they are and that's it unless you, you know, know them exactly you got to keep detailed records i haven't i'm just not that guy i just want to make sure they're all healthy they're moving around and that's what we did here today so we have some success but now since we did this, so how many males do we have? We have seven. Okay, how many females? 23. All right, let's go, before we finish this video up, let's go over to the cherry head tortoises, okay. which are another species of redfoot. It's actually a redfoot tortoise, but it's from a locale in uh, Brazil, and they stay smaller. Let's go show you them. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Somebody um, somebody pooped and peed in there. Oh, that's okay. Uh, we'll that's, have to clean that up. We'll clean out. that up. No problem, man. Just like we did for you when you were pooping and peeing where you weren't supposed to be. What? That was years ago in his diaper. Oh, true. Yeah, true. No, it's not like he walks around. He doesn't walk. Come on. Come on, you gotta be careful what you say to the people. Huh? Oh, no, the people understand. Come on, they're an educated bunch out there. Oh, by the way, uh, the croc monitor here is doing well. She's hiding over there. Uh, she's just on vacation here at Camp Kennedy. Can you make her out? Uh, uh, no, but we're moving along. Let's we're walking. see if we can find the males and females and get a sex ratio of our cherry head tortoises, which are right over here. The girls are going to have... We don't need the tub because I don't have quite as many, and I think we'll be able to do it just by looking at them over here. What? Now, the other thing that we have to do... Let's get them out of here. Well, they're going to all be in their house. And I can tell you right now, friends, the inside of that house is going to be dirty. So don't be alarmed. So I've got to spray it out, but let's go look. Come on over here. Woo, look at this. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what it looks like and right. smells like. Wow. It's not so bad, not so bad. Now, thing is with the cherry heads, um, we're gonna have, they're, they're not gonna have the wasping. I know this is a male. If you guys remember, this male had a prolapsed penis. Uh, but you can see the thing that's, you're able to tell it's a male because he does have the concave plastron and the long tail, but they don't get that wasping. So here's one male. Sophia, would you walk around this enclosure and see if there's any other tortoises out and make note if it's a male or a female? So we got one male. This was my friend Greg's male. Uh, my friend Greg passed away. 
uh, in Africa where he was doing work with rhinoceros. Um, very sad, but I'm so happy and honored that I was gifted this tortoise from his estate. Um, but this is another male, and look, this is a full-grown male. Isn't it funny, guys? The cherry head's much, much smaller than the traditional redfoots. Did none of them are out? All right, so we got two males here. Keep, I'll so just keep looking keep for the count. males. We got two males. Two males, two males. Me too, yeah. This is a male. I know it. Yep, this is the other male. Oh, this is an old male. This tortoise is extremely old. Um, real, lost a lot of the colors here, but again, there it is, concavity. Real, still a pretty tortoise, but look at how smooth that shell is. Isn't that amazing? That is just a nice, smooth guy. So three, three boys, and I believe this is also a boy. Oh, here he is. He had some damage. Remember I was t showing you uh, the tortoise over there, the red foot that got injured scoot? Look, you could see the keratin's coming back. So this is a long, long process when they heal. It mm. takes sometimes decades. But um, there's the concavity. What do we have? Four. Four, four boys. Four boys. Okay. Let me see. That's a girl. I think the rest are girls, to be honest. These are all gals. Yep. Uh, four definitely boys. a gal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine girls. And four boys. Four boys. So we have 4.9 cherry heads. Now how 13. many total? Oh, Dead. good. Sophie. How many? 13 males. 13. 13 in all. 13 animals in all. I got to trim this traveler's poem, it turned out. Okay. Big one. So 13 total. All right. Very good. There they are. There they are. All right, guys. So that's what we had to do today. There's always something that needs to be done. And I'm really glad that I had my family here with me today. We learned a little bit about cherry heads and, of course, the, the red foot's good girl. Yes. So now I know exactly what my ratios are, which is just good because it's always nice to know how many you're dealing with. And as far as egg you know getting egg production or having eggs i think we have a lot of males just enough to get the job done because obviously males can breed with multiple females and uh, they only need to breed maybe once or twice a season and the female can store sperm for a few seasons afterwards it's a really cool nifty trick the tortoises do so it's fantastic and they can lay fertile eggs after one successful copulation how do you like it oh hey you know what guys you may notice I'm wearing a really cool t-shirt. Uh, this is a uh, members only Camp Cannon shirt. And I'm talking, of course, this shirt is going to be for Patreon members. That's right, so if you guys sign up, you can get one of two colors. There's a khaki color and this color. Hun, what color is this? That's like a khaki greeny. Oh, well, there's a lighter khaki like my shorts. Right. Uh, but this uh, this is a really cool design uh, done by one of our members, Angel Falto. Want to shout him out, say thank you. I got to turn around. Yeah, we got yeah. this cool, our Camp Cannon logos right on the, oh yeah, walk it out on the catwalk. On the catwalk, yeah. yeah. I I'm really stoked on this shirt push. because um, I wanted to make this shirt kind of um, a Patreon member exclusive because I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who joined up. And maybe some more of you guys would want to join up and join the team on Patreon. We have a lot of fun there. I answer questions. We do a live show there. And you guys may get some value out of it. So if you'd like to purchase this shirt, go on over and join up at patreon.com slash camp cannon where you can get this shirt that not everyone else can get you'll have a secret link where you can purchase this shirt thank you guys so much hope you enjoy it really cool it's got a little hat and uh it's slinky slinky wearing my hat it's like a mashup of you it and is slinks. it is it's how i really wish i looked you know what i mean oh, i really I always wanted to be a lizard in fact i actually had a really I had a really crazy childhood where I actually thought I was a lizard for a little while and had my mom was a little concerned and she wanted to bring me to a child psychologist, but uh, the, the shrink said I was fine, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. A little goofiness yes. from me to you, and what? I was going to say that I think I like the red foots better than the cherry heads. You do? And why is that? Because the red foots, like, they're, like, kind of like, I don't really, can't really explain it. They're like, a little more beautiful than the okay. cherry heads. That's a good way of explaining it. That's a good way of they're, And their they're, they're colors a little yeah. brighter. Yeah, they're well. a little more vibrant. Vibrant, that's the word. That's, that's, that's word. the word. There All it right, is. Kids, there you go. A little SAT word for you.
All right, well, there you go, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and my family as we did a little farm work, getting the animals ready and understanding how many we have. Uh, if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below or head on over to patreon.com slash Cannon. Don't forget to smash that like button. I always feel dorky saying that. If you like you the videos- You look dorky saying yeah, it that you. way, I'll tell you that. Hey, yo, smash that like button. That's not, that's <laughs> not right. good either. I'm gonna get out of here. Subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, exactly, scrub, scribe, will you? Subscribe. Will you guys scrub, scribe for me? I'll see you guys soon, thanks so much. So long. <laughs>